Hi, and welcome back to another session from the Air Users blog. And I can see that a lot of you found my Expand Power User Guide very helpful. I'd like to take it to another level now. What I'd like to do is at the moment, it's all playing all the time. And uh, so we've got it playing all the time. And somebody asked me by email, can we bring those things in and out? Well, yes, you can. What you do, as you come to automation here and you come down and choose part A on, part B on, part C on, and part D on. Press OK. Now if you come down to this automation window here and if you can't see you need to use that arrow to drop it down just there. Press plus and come down to the bottom of the list and you'll see part A on. Press the plus sign again and again and again. And now we can see the on and offs for all four of these. So what I'd like to do, and it's simple, if you now turn these on and off, let's see that, you'll see that this, this line goes from the top to the bottom. Simple as that. So what we'd like to do is we'd like that one, that one, and that one to be off at the start, and then we can bring them in. So I can come here, and I can choose part C, which is the synth part, I can mark it here. I'm marking it just before the start of the beat, so I don't lose anything when it comes in. And I mark it, we play it now. From here. And let's bring the bass in there. Just mark it again, get that, so you can see that tool and push it up. You need to be in the smart tool for this to work properly. And there as well. And push it up, and now we've got all of these turning on and off. Just play it from there. So two bars of synth. So there we are, that's kind of going deeper with expand and deeper with automation. So you get even more control with one instance of expand. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.